we cannot take the risk of him becoming a patriarch. He consorts with harlots on the streets. I know it is hard for you to believe that he can be a Judas, but it's true, Your Holiness. I'm not even sure about his good heart. For me personally, I had a father, not somebody who was going to church or anything like that, but who was prosecuted because he was righteous, like a man who was uh, probably number one civil engineer in the country, who ended up working in a little factory and having a salary of a cleaning lady because he did not want to be part of the system. We will demand Patriarch Sofroni to be removed and place you in his position. Get out. I first read a book about him in 2012 after my father passed away. I went to this monastery uh, in Belgrade next door to where my father lived just to get away from the apartment and uh, the worldly things uh, that, that, that were happening around there with my mom and the brother and all that. So I, I saw the book about St. Nectarius and I heard about him. You know, I read a lot of books on saints because I, I'm an Orthodox. And when I was 25, I actually joined the, the church in a little more uh, serious way because it was something that helped me personally. So I read, but I was never, it was always inspiring, wonderful, but there was something about this book, again, that, that really shook me. And apart from that personal thing that I was talking about, living in Los Angeles for 18 years, living in the U.S. For more, than, for more than 20 years, and being in, this, in Hollywood, being in, in, in the world of business, of movies, of entertainment, there was something interesting because U.S., they have, okay, they're not necessarily Orthodox, but they have a lot of Christians. And they have these films they're making for Christian audience. But those films, to be honest, they're not... And I don't want to offend anybody by saying this. There is a propaganda and there is the truth. Reading this, I said this is a man who was a simple man who was prosecuted within the church. I lost my eyesight due to illness when I was very little. There is so much light in your presence. We feel that you don't exercise enough authority. A healthy balance between kindness and authority is best. But then when I met Aris Arvetalis, I was uh, interviewing a lot of different directors of photography at the time in Greece. Uh, and there was one uh, gentleman, his name is Timios, uh, and he, he works with Lantimos a lot. He says, you're going to meet Aris. And I'm, okay, I'm kind of changing the... No, no, he says, you don't understand. This guy, you know, he's given his life. To, he's the greatest actor, Lanti was his favorite actor of all the actors ever worked with. I mean, this is like an amazing actor, I can tell you that. And you have to see him because when you see him on the street, he walks, he looks like a saint. I actually met with Iris, and Iris already, because he's, uh, he's now changed his, uh, you know, his, his turn to faith, actually, even though he was on the completely opposite side before that, so this, this, this uh, role was now even closer to him. My body may be withering away, but my soul is not.